confirmed that Monica Garcia was officially fired and let go from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City after just one season on the show. Now I've never seen a housewife or a reality star come in that made such great television and the ratings go up and they fire them. But we're going to talk about why in this video she got fired and also what this possibly means moving forward for season five. All right. If you want to talk about it, you better believe we are. Stay right where you're at. Welcome back to Damien After Dark. If you're new to the channel or you have not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button right below this video and turn on your post notifications. Okay. If you don't mind clicking the thumbs up button as well, right down there and liking this video, that helps me get into the algorithm. So make sure you click that like button. All right. Also get in the comment section, join the conversation, your voice and your opinion matters. I would love to hear what you have to say about Monica being fired. Do you agree with Bravo's decision in letting her go? Or do you, do you think she deserved to stay for another season? Last but not least, join, uh, the Damien After Dark movement. If you want to join the movement in the description box below, will be ways that you can donate using PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle. I will also post my Amazon wish list there for those that choose to take that route. Thank you guys so much for the love, the, the donations, the subscriptions, the likes, the everything, okay? So, I was not expecting this. I'll be real honest with y'all. I was not expecting to hear the news that Monica Garcia was being fired from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I just knew she was going to get another season. I was confident in it. Now, People Magazine broke the news today. And if you watched Wendy Williams like I did, you all, you'll know that Wendy Williams has always said that People Magazine is like the Bible of gossip and pop culture. If they say it, it's true. Because a lot of people are saying, oh, well, this is just speculation. This is just rumors. We don't know. It's, it's true. She's not coming back, okay? Um, and I just, I, I hate this for the show. I really do. There's just so many um, mixed emotions and things that I want to say when it comes to this particular topic. So let's start with the fact of why Monica was let go, right? You got a lot of people who don't like Monica. You got a lot of people who did like Monica. Love her or hate her, we have to remember that the this show was in the toilet last season. And she resurrected it, right? They got some of the highest ratings that they've had since like season one. They got into like 800,000 at the reunion. You know what I'm saying? Um, so when it comes to ratings, Monica did her job. When it came to the big personality, Monica had it. The storylines, you know, she had it all. But ultimately, it came down to these women not wanting to be around her. These women with the mean girl gang up mentality. And I was hoping that Whitney and Meredith would be able to say, you know what? We want to film with Monica. We want to try to move past this because she helped the show. She was good for the show. Because all we needed was Whitney, Meredith, and Mary. Those three girls to film with Monica. And, you know, it could have worked. But ultimately, because Lisa Barlow and Angie Katsanavas and Heather Gay and the rest of the girls are bandwagging on with Heather and, and pretty much riding with Heather, because of this Instagram troll account, this Reality Von Tees account, that we've yet to see any evidence that targeted the other women. I've yet to see it. Now, I haven't watched part three of the reunion, so I don't know if they posted any evidence on part three of the reunion. But we've yet to see any posts where Monica was calling Heather this or calling Lisa that or pulling up to Angie's home or doing, you know what I'm saying? Only thing I know from that reality Von T's troll account was that she was targeting Jen Shah. She had a vendetta against Vin Shah, Jen Shah. 
So I'm just confused where all this animosity and anger towards her and not wanting to film with her is coming from. Oh, you infiltrated our group. You posted so many nasty things about us. Where is it? Where's the screenshots? Where's the where's the proof? Screenshots, evidence. Where is it? Because all I've seen is about Jen. If Heather and Tanisha had it, why didn't the show post it? The most they had was that an audio of um, the most they had against Monica was an audio of Monica allegedly calling Mary a bitch. And if you listen to that audio, she wasn't calling. You, you can't prove that she was calling Mary a bitch in that audio. You can't. She doesn't say Mary is a bitch. She was talking about a situation and she brought Mary up at one point in that context. But ultimately, these women have made the audience and the producers, not me because I don't believe it, but they've had this perception that this woman has hurt us. She's done so much that we just can't film with her. So the producers are like, you know, okay, most of these women don't want to film with her. We don't want to lose our women. Shame on you, producers, because I feel like y'all shouldn't have backed down. Y'all should have said, look, y'all see where this show was last year? We were on the, when Jen Shaw was getting ready to go to prison, we were, we didn't know what we were going to do. Y'all give it one more season and give it a try and let's see what happens, right? I would have tried to talk to them about it. Maybe they did try to talk to them about it. I don't know. I don't know, but it's just, I don't know. These ladies need to think of their future and the betterment of the show. That's the thing that gets me. Yeah, they're so caught up in their feelings and this elite, this elitism of oh, we're better than we're better than you know this. Oh, you're we're up here and you're down there. They're so caught up in all that and their feelings that they're not thinking about what's best for this show so we can get renewed for another season and another season and another season. Because as the seasons go by, the paychecks get fatter. Why would you not want to do what's best for your show? I'm going to tell y'all, Salt Lake City, you keep fucking around, you're going to end up like Dallas. Where is Dallas? Gone. Because these girls had such a vendetta against Leanne. They wanted her off the show so bad they could not stand her. They got her off the show, and then what happened? Season 5 rolled around, and they were like, uh, who's going to be the bad guy? Who's going to be the villain? Who's going to be the one that we scream at and we argue with, that we can go back and forth with? They didn't have nobody. So they were all turning against one another. It came off inauthentic and fake and contrived, and the show went in the can. I have a feeling the same thing is going to happen with Salt Lake City, unless they get the casting right next season. Dallas was in season four when they let Leanne go. Season five is when it went to trash. Is the same thing going to happen with Salt Lake City? What do you think is going to happen moving forward with season five? So here's the thing. Unless they can find another personality that was as big as Monica's and Jen Shaw's, they need another Monica or another Jen Shaw. And when I say another Jen Shaw, I don't mean on the aspect of defrauding elderly people or committing crimes okay when i say that i mean they need a big personality they need that person that is not afraid of confrontation that person that is not afraid to bring up drama gossip juice dirt that person that is not afraid to smash the glass that is not afraid to go there okay that's not heather gay that's not lisa i mean lisa can sometimes get there we've seen her rant but to me she doesn't give force multiplier. She doesn't give center snowflake. Heather does not give me center snowflake. Angie does not give me center snowflake. Meredith, as much as I love her, she does not. I mean, I don't know. I think she has potential. I don't know. I don't know. Whitney definitely does not give me center snowflake. Whitney gives me friend of vibes. But... Unless Salt Lake City gets the casting right next season and they get a firecracker of a housewife or two, this show is done. Because let me tell y'all, if they don't, what we're going to be watching is more Mormon bullshit, more of them churning butter, more of Heather's choir, more of Lisa Barlow singing Away in a Manger. Do you want to watch that for 16 fucking episodes?
Well, when when that happens, I want all of you that complain about Monica to 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 pat yourselves on the back for 16 boring episodes. Let's just face it. And can we also talk about one more thing? Is the hypocrisy of it all. The hypocrisy of these ladies to film with a woman for two years while she's under federal indictment, under, you know, got these charges against her. All these allegations, nothing is looking right. Nothing is adding up. Nothing has ever added up about her life. Yet y'all, arm by arm, side by side, stood by this woman, never once questioned her, never once went in on her, never once treated her the way you treated Monica. Heather, you got up here and lied to viewers, to producers, to castmates about your black eye. For what, going on two years almost now? You've almost lied for a year and a half. You've lied about it. Bravo opened an internal investigation because of your black eye situation. What if somebody would have lost their job over some false shit, allegations or something? Because you wanted to lie. Now, why didn't nobody bring that up? You have lied, deceived us about the black eye. That's, that's nothing to lie about. But now... Because you want to get in actress mode and and self-produce. And let me have a big moment at the finale and reveal that Jen Shaw did black my eye. She was such an actress in that moment. And here's the thing. A lot of people are saying, oh, Heather's such a great housewife. I would give her that. And I do think she is a good housewife. But the fact that she's watched housewives for years and goes into these scenes like, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to create this. And I'm going to do. That's what I can see right through it. I can see right through with Heather. She wants to be the star of this show so bad. And just like Mary Cosby said, she has the true snobbiness of a Mormon. Heather and this, it gives me Karen. It gives me snob. It gives me I'm still that Mormon I still have that Mormon spirit and that Mormon attitude that I'm better than you and that because you don't believe in the Mormon church and you're not this and you're not that, I'm this and I, it gives me all of that. This show has gone to her head. People loved Heather in season one. People loved her. They fell in love with her personality. This show, the fame, the money has gone to her head. I loved when Mary Cosby told her, I didn't need this show to get my house, boo. You got your house because of this show. And that pissed Heather and them off so bad. But it's true. Don't get this new little bit of chump change. It's not chump change to me, but to the to to the, the, the amount of money they're making at the beginning compared to the other housewives, you know, it is chump change. Um to us, of course not. But um these other Potomac women and other women that are making five hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, close to a million, if not a million. Salt Lake City ain't getting that yet. Now, they might next year start getting up in that range, but they got this money, and they add, like, Heather, especially, that she's just, you can just really tell it. It has really showed this season, the way she treated Monica. I under, listen, and, and I want I want to make this clear, too. Do I agree with everything that Monica's done? No. Or been accused of? No. No. You know, like, the riding by Jen Shaw's house and things like that, and then create this Instagram and infiltrate the group and think, you know, you can scape through the season and it's not going to get brought up. Okay, yeah, but worse things have been done, like elderly people being defrauded. Um, but I do understand why they were upset, but y'all could have moved past this. You could have had the explosive reunion. Uh, the explosive finale, I mean. You could have had the explosive finale. Did your performance have their screenshots, proof, timelines, receipts? You could have done all that. Come reunion time, y'all could have duped it out. And then you could have came to the conclusion and apologized and moved on. As I said at the beginning of this video, I have never seen a housewife come in and be 
the breakout star of the season, the ratings go up, and they fire her. But this is that new age housewives mentality where these, these women come together behind the scenes and say, we need to say no. We need to go up against this girl and say, we don't want to film with her. We don't want nothing to do with her. She's done this. She's done that. And, you know, it's us against one. And as much as I love Real Housewives of Salt Lake City before Monica, with Monica, and hopefully after Monica, I'm not going to feel sorry for you guys if this show gets canceled after next season. I'm not going to feel sorry for you guys if after the next couple of seasons, this show goes in the trash because you did it to yourselves because of your ego, because of your pride, and because of this Karen-esque elitism that you portray. Heather, Angie, Lisa. I'm trying not to go in on as much of Meredith and Whitney because I feel like Meredith and Whitney would were going to give Monica another shot. However, they caved in to the other three. I feel like they caved in with that. Ultimately, my opinion at the end of the day. Now, wrapping things up, when it comes to Monica, I think she'll be fine. I think that everything happens for a reason. And this was a platform for her. Nobody knew her a year ago. We had no idea who Monica Garcia was a year ago. This show has put her into so many people's homes now that she's going to go on to do possibly a show like House of Villains on E, possibly Traitors on Peacock. Um, there are so many other things that Monica can do and make money and branch out and do career-wise that she'll be okay. I see her doing an Ultimate Girls Trip. Um, and I possibly see her maybe coming back in the future. You know, maybe next season does tank and they say, let's try to bring Monica back in one more time and see what happens. I don't know. But I do think that things are going to work out for her. I wish her the best. Do I think she's done some fucked up shit in her life? The sleeping with the brother-in-law, all that stuff. Of course, it's wrong. She's done a lot of fucked up shit. But how many of these housewives have not that we're still watching? How many of you at home have not done fucked up shit that we know about or that we don't know about? That's the problem. A lot of people with reality TV these days, we've gotten so sensitive when it comes to things. And we can't look at something for entertainment. We can't look at something for entertainment value or just for what it is and move on. That people get so upset that it's just like we have to get rid of it altogether. Okay, no more. I digress, but I would love to hear what you have to say. What did you think about Monica being fired from the reunion or from the Housewives of Salt Lake City? Do, are you happy? Are you sad? Do you think Bravo made the right decision? What do you think is going to happen moving forward into season five? What would you like to see happen? Who would you like to see for season five? Who is your dream cast? Leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Make sure you like this video by clicking the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to donate to the Damien After Dark movement, in the description box below will be ways that you can donate. I'll also post my Amazon wish list down there as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Damien After Dark. We'll see you next time. See ya.